the Daily Moon, and um, this whole kind of week has taken on a real sense of, um, I mean, a really surreal sense with the lockdown, with everything that's going on in the US. Everything just seems so heightened right now. Um, and I've really struggled with understanding what to do this week around that. Um, it's taken me quite a while to come to grips with how I feel about the racism issue, how I feel um, about white women in yoga. Um, things I've always had opinions on, or always thought I was kind of clear on, um, have been really questioned. And I think that really feeds into what's um, going on in general with the cosmos and with the vibe for all of us at the moment. We're moving um, through the Gemini season, which if you follow my work, you'll know is not my favourite. Um, Gemini is an air sign, it's ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication, um, and it's quite kind of feisty in that it's quite restless, erratic, prone to sudden U-turns. Um, the energy I think has been like that this month, but at the same time um, combined with this kind of static um, introversion that's come from so many retrogrades, we've got so many planets in retrograde right now. Um, and that creates a kind of stillness where we're invited to look backwards and take lessons before we move forwards. Um, and I guess for me, I just feel like I've been kind of mired in this um, this kind of stasis, this pause for ages. Um, and today, the, or yesterday actually, the moon has moved into Scorpio, um, which is my sign and uh, my sun sign, and is a sign I feel really passionate about because it really embodies transformation. Um, and for me, I think at the moment, we're all going through a huge transformation, whether it's relative to the pandemic, to lockdown, to our work lives, our family lives, or whether we're transforming our views, our ideologies, questioning stuff that's deep seated or deep rooted as, as a result of what's been going on, um, primarily in the US, but now all over Europe and the world in terms of protests around the constantly present issue of race. So Scorpio and transformation is stuff I'm really working on today and I, um, I haven't actually been here and played for a few days. It's, I've just felt really um, stuck and I think that's um, not particularly unusual right now. I think as certainly in the UK we begin to move into whatever the next phase is, you know, three, four, who, who knows really what they're doing. But um, certainly things are changing and people are moving in a different way, living in a different way again and um, for those who want normal back we're being invited to believe it's on the way and um, I'm not one of those people and um, and I'm working a little bit with that as I think lots of us are so um, so I guess my rambling really is about transformation it's about the idea that we we can transform at any time we like we have the right to change our minds our views our ideas and um, to reframe where we think something we've always believed but maybe we need to reconsider um, whether it's our way of living whether it's our views on race or the world or different countries and um, and I think this kind of energy of transformation is something that's huge coming into this weekend as we come into the Sagittarius full moon and lunar eclipse on Friday. And a lunar eclipse is like multiplies the power of a full moon by 10. So it's going to be huge. Um, and that's coming our way in just 48 hours. So I think the moon kind of making its final journey into its arrival in Sagittarius by stopping for a couple of days in Scorpio. Um, it's a really positive thing. It really helps us think about our transformational energy um, and what we're going to do with that as we move through this exciting eclipse season. Um, other things to note in terms of what's going on in the skies right now is we are heavily retrograding. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Venus actually is going direct again today, which is a big relief. Um, the rebirth of Venus, and that's something I'll be talking about a bit more in my session at the weekend. Um, but we still have Saturn and Jupiter and Pluto Going backwards um, and in two weeks we've got mercury as well which is the biggie i think even if you're not that into astro astrology or cosmology or not that up on your planets and retrograde you will definitely have heard the phrase mercury retrograde a few times so um that is to look forward to from june the 17th um meanwhile the scorpio moon what does that mean well a scorpio moon um is very much it carries a lot of the energy you might expect of something scorpionic it's it's dark it's um, it can be very intense. Everything can feel a little heightened. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this monologue, that's definitely how I'm feeling yesterday and today. Like really quite highly tuned in with my senses. I feel like I'm seeing and hear hearing everything um, extra clearly. Um, 
it's definitely about transformation and rebirth. So a Scorpio moon day is a really good day to be thinking about what you want to change, particularly as we're coming into a full moon where releasing and kind of completing cycles is the main story. Um, and a Scorpio moon is really, um, it's a good time, again, as you might expect, for kind of sensual energy and, um, and maybe a bit more dramatic energy. Maybe if you've been a bit flat and a bit kind of static during this retrograde season and during this kind of airy Gemini um, kind of stasis, <laughs> in some ways moving really fast and in lots of ways standing still, um, today is a good day to really plug into that kind of Scorpionic power and um, you know, that kind of dark power that all Scorpios feel we have somewhere, but which is available for everybody. Um, we all have Scorpio in our chart, it's just how we decide to access it. So um, so for me today, this is the, this moon, this Scorpio moon is really about, is about rebirth and transformation, having a look at what, what is coming next, having a look at what we want to bring into our moon cycle as we head into the full moon. Um, and it's worth mentioning Venus moving direct today. It's the, the kind of an end of a phase where we've been kind of pausing, looking at our relationships, whether it's our partner, our parents, our family, friends, siblings, business partner, um, those relationships in our life are really ruled by Venus and particularly the ones involving love and compassion and matters of the heart. So um, for lots of us that's been a really strange time as we've navigated questions and, uh, and answers around these relationships in our life and today's the day we can start to release the questioning and begin to progress with what we've learned which is a, a big relief I think for a lot of people. Um, so today we're just going to do um, a few moments of sounds, really, just to to help ease the trauma and ease the stuff that's going on. I, I don't know about you guys, but I've just found it so intense lately, and um, I've really had to do a lot of personal work to stay centred and to stay calm. Um, I wouldn't say I've necessarily succeeded on that brilliantly well, and um, and really to to make sure I'm making time for daily practice, making time to speak to you guys and to, to do my work. So I've also, you may have noticed, got a slightly new setup here. I've got some lights, which uh, is making things a little easier to see, but it's also picking up many flaws. <laughs> and, um, and I've also got a new webcam, which is amazing. It's HD and it's really great, but it isn't as wide as I hope, so you can't really see my beautiful crystal bowls down here. So um, that doesn't really matter, because I need you to listen to them, not see them. Um, but still, it's nice to, nice to visualise and imagine them down here in front of me. And I'm just going to pick one up. So if you're new, you can see what it looks like. We've got four of these down here today. So what I'm going to invite you to do is with all sound sessions is just take a few moments for intention, a few moments for, um, for focus, for drawing yourself inwards and thinking about what it is you want to gain or release from your meditation today. Your intention is really the fuel for your journey. Um, otherwise you're just kind of resting, which has its benefits, but it may not be what it is that you're seeking to, um, to achieve or to grow, expand from. So set your intention. If you're looking for something to base your intention around, then I would suggest transformation is a really good theme today. Um, thinking about what you'd like to transform. Uh, maybe it's around viewpoints or processing or self-educating on certain matters. Um, maybe it's simply around relationships as it's coming to the end of the Venus retrograde. Maybe um, it's about releasing bigger things in your life that you might want to think about carrying over the full moon eclipse we have this weekend. So whatever your intention is going to be, put it somewhere you can find it. Your heart's always a good place, maybe your third eye. And let's begin with a little breathing together. I always like to start with conscious breathing. It's something I picked up actually really quite recently on a, a yoga teacher training advanced session I took and it's just so simple but so effective so if you're kind of running on adrenaline and crazy cortisol it's a really good way of bringing yourself onto your space your mat into your sacred ritual area before enjoying a meditation or sound so I'm going to start today with a hand on heart and a hand on belly it might be quite nice to have your hand a little higher in the higher heart towards the throat without looking where you're going to choke yourself and taking a deep inhale in to the count of four, inhaling in through the nose. Holding your breath at the top, also to the count of four. And exhaling for the count of eight through your lips. Feeling the air as it brushes past your lips, maybe 
us to return out back into the world. Inhaling for four. Holding for four. And exhaling for eight through the lips once again. And this is just such a nice way to navigate your body, to navigate where you are today. So notice if your breath was a little ragged, a little stressed, if it needed to be calm before you're ready to move into your meditation. Continuing four full eight breath. And now turn into your intention. Maintain that breath for now if you can. If you need to let go, that's fine. And as you turn to your intention, attach a visual to your intention. Maybe you're seeing yourself doing something. You're seeing someone else doing something. Whatever visual breathes life into your intention, that's what we want you to be focusing on right now. if your visual, your manifestation, your intention looks any different in your mind's eye. So just enjoy a few moments of the gongs together. So if you're not already wearing headphones, now's a great time to pop them on, to enjoy the stereo sounds. Feeling held by the earth around you, feeling held by your ancestors, by your guides, your spirits, by me and the gong, of knowing you're safe, you're in a safe place. And the journey is yours and yours alone to explore. You can come back at any time you need. If you need to have a safe place or a happy place ready to go to, then just draw an image of it to mind now, so you know it's there for you should you need it.
finding your way back if you've been away from your physical body now is the time to gently reconnect and navigate back into flesh and bone into the vessel that you're gifted with in this life wiggling the fingers and the toes, noticing the blood moving through the body, noticing your breath coming back in through the nasal passage to the lips, tuning back into the sounds in the room wherever you are. And very gradually in your own time reconnecting with your intention, with your vision your image, your future self. Slowly thanking yourself for taking time out for meditation for the journey today. And giving gratitude to any guides, any supporters, any ancestors that came your way to help you through your journey. Thank you all for coming by today. This has been just a brief foray into the magic of sound. I post these a couple of times a week for you to explore and connect with. Um, the next live session will be on Friday the 5th of June for the full moon in Sagittarius, also a lunar eclipse. I have a live session um, online for every full and new moon and they will continue until further notice. Um, it's going to be quite some time before we're able to meeting groups again in the UK at least um, and larger scales which I like for soundscapes so um so yes please do come along for a live session um through the magic of the internet and hopefully um you will get to experience the full spectrum of the beautiful sounds we have about an hour of sound maybe an hour and a quarter in a soundscape the rest of the time is some workshopping, some Q&A, some chat around the moon, around astrology, shamanism, Reiki, uh, crystals, which are very important part of my practice. And um, we share ritual together to welcome in the next lunar cycle. So thank you all for being here today. Have a beautiful rest of the week. Namaste.